Hi Aquarius! Welcome to your love reading Aquarius. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Aquarius, this is a collective message for your sign. Collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation Aquarius. Let's see Aqua, what do we have for you? you please show us important messages for aqua aquarius we have surprise okay consequences oh we have more excuse me surprise and chance then we have consequences let's do it that way okay you see <laughs> <laughs> even under the card of surprise we had a surprise <laughs> in the form of another card so yeah double confirmation aqua <clears throat> okay let's let's get back to to your reading so we have surprise we have chance we have consequences one more please for aqua for aquarius thank you stability okay and we have last at the bottom of the deck so we are connecting here Aquarius with someone who is very attracted to you very very attracted I'm getting very strongly Aquarius that <coughs> excuse me within four or five days you can expect some sort of surprise here from this person this is someone who uh, I feel that um, at the moment there might be a no contact situation between the two of you. I feel that both of you might be in a hermit mode actually. But this person is focusing on something that they might have said or done. Because consequences here is like they are reminiscing about the actions with regards to something here. Uh, that we are connecting, uh, talking about this connection. Okay. We have a chance, we have stability. This is someone who wants to be given a chance and they want to create some sort of stable environment with regards to your connection. So essentially they want stable, um, some sort of, they want to create stability with, uh, when we're talking about this relationship, union, connection, whatever the case might be. Okay, Aquarius, so let's see. But for sure, this is someone who wants to be given a chance and they want to come across also with stability stability card as they mean uh, that, that they means oh, that they mean business that they are stable re reliable loyal okay they think about this la last card and consequences for some of you it might be a case that um, this is someone who maybe at the time was more kind of guided by last you know or they gave you an impression that they are only about one thing or they acted or they acted or their actions were uh more kind of guided by 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 this emotion that's why consequences are the way they are that for instance for some of you you are in no contact situation okay but let's see let's see aquarius what Tara will tell us. What Tara will tell us. Could you please show us more about this situation? Aquarius with this person, please. Okay. So we have an Ace of Wands. We have a King of Swords. What else we have for Aquarius? Someone wants to clear the air with you, Aquarius. <coughs> Someone wants to take an action and they want to bring some clarity explanation with this King of Swords. What else we have for Aquarius? 
we have an eight of pentacles they were to work they want to work on the situation for some of you it might be someone from your workplace or some or someone connected with your work it doesn't have to be but eight of pentacles it represents in a love reading most of the time can represent that kind of a will to work on on a situation on a connection relationship okay we have the devil so we have this kind of energy of lust we have temperance but i like this because devil next to the temperance you see we have two completely different energies devil it's it's it can hold this element of toxicity it can be very toxic we're talking about attachments, we're talking about someone who can be incredibly charming, but there is also uh, this different side of them that can be quite uh, momentarily difficult and challenging for the other party. But temperance here is this beautiful healing energy that it's balanced the, the energy of the devil. Therefore, I'm seeing here someone who is trying to kind of a uh, bring more balance who is more aware of their ways or the way they um, sometimes might be seeing certain things with regards to relationship their attitude you might be dealing here with capricorn i also have sagittarius aquarius they do want to bring more a balance stability to the situation indeed especially with this temperance next to this devil card one more please for this situation for aquarius please mm -hmm. what do we have here okay we have a three of swords mm -hmm. we have the moon let's see we have more here okay let's take a look as a side message for you aquarius okay at the bottom of the deck we have a king of cups so we have the devil the temperance the three of swords something here indeed was disappointing when it comes to this connection Three of Swords is this energy of emotional pain, huge disappointment. It feels like this person might have broken your heart or they broke your heart. And because of their attitude. Yeah, th and that's the consequences here represented by the Three of Swords. They do want to talk. I feel Aquarius that at some point you made a stand and it wouldn't surprise me with this king of swords that you detached that you said enough it's enough i i i can't be um affected by this energy therefore you this person that we are talking about you projecting those insecurities on this connection and me because it 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 affects me that might be a case that you felt that way or even you know you said it to this person it's just you know me giving an example because with the three of swords this is yes this person really really disappointed you i feel that there was a breakup or a certain situation that that was so uncomfortable and i feel deeply inside this person broke your heart for some of you there was a breakup indeed that's why they are coming because they want to be given a chance side message here we have the moon might be dealing with pisces we have this king of pentacles a three of wands and the ten of swords yes this is someone here who is very deeply in their emotions they are thinking about the situation um you might be yes you might be dealing with pisces this is someone who is thinking at the moment they are thinking they are planning they are waiting i'm getting very strongly for some of you this is this 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 individual here it's waiting on the right moment to send you a message <clears throat> excuse me or to make a move towards you and it can be during christmas or this time because that would be a perfect excuse right to kind of you know wish someone merry christmas or season greetings please take it how it resonates um, and kind of reconnect 
with the moon this is someone who brought enormous amount of un um, uncertainty illusion i feel this person lied you know they were projecting here or they wanted to be seen differently the moon next to the court card you know that might represent king or queen based on my experience it might represent someone who who simply has been or was wearing a mask they didn't want it to kind of show uh, their true self because again this is someone who's very insecure the ten of swords it's 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 a symbol here and it signifies that indeed I feel that this person uh, betrayed your trust. Something here happened. We have the Three of Swords and we have a Ten of Swords. For some of you, there was a painful, emotionally painful ending between you and this person. And I, I, can, reassure, I can reassure you here, or, or with, I can reassure you with one thing here, Aquarius. This person is thinking about it. They are reminiscing about their behavior here. And they are planning to, to kind of approach you. They are thinking about this Ten of Swords that they caused you. We have this King of Cups. You might be dealing with a water sign, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This is someone who, who has feelings for you. And it's actually showing up here that, yes, this, you're dealing with someone who is incredibly passionate. And they might come across as sometimes more, maybe even too passionate. Okay, let's say it that way. But this temperance here, it's, 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 it's bringing more balance to this energy. This is someone who wants to work uh, on themselves. You might be dealing here also, Aquarius, with someone who has unhealthy habits with regards to passion okay or just unhealthy habits in general but um because we have this ace of wands next to the devil this is a very passionate yes lustful energy so for some of you it indeed it might be a uh, literally that that sort of message that is showing up here but they are trying to work on on on, on their attitude here on on this uh, thing that might have caused uh such a huge disappointment with regards to this person attitude and with regards to this connection that you shared with this person or you are sharing with them let's see aquarius let's see this person's feelings could you please show this person's feelings towards aquarius Queen of Swords. We have a Queen and King of Swords. So this is indeed quite, uh, I feel, important connection. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Aquarius? You are in their feelings, Aquarius, big time. They are thinking about you. This is someone who really wants to have a conversation with you. Five of Wands mm -hmm. and a Six of Wands. Yes, this person needs to clear the air. With the Five of Wands, we have a Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. You might be dealing with Taurus here, Aquarius. In their feelings, this is someone who, who wants a higher level of commitment. But there is a need for clarity and very honest and constructive communication between the two of you. I have this five of wands. The five of wands here, five of crystals in this deck. Five of wands uh, gives me an indication that this person at the moment is very conflicted. Or, you know, there is an inner conflict happening deeply inside in their feelings because um, they do want to come forward this is someone who wants to talk with you we have a queen of swords 
and king of swords in the same reading it's like a need for conversation but i feel that at the moment there is no contact situation with the five of wands <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm getting also aquarius that this is someone who created conflict as well and they are very much aware of that at the time i feel especially when i look at this card and the five of wands here is this is they they were unable to compromise or unable they didn't want to compromise let's keep it real right uh, this is someone who didn't meet you halfway and they created conflict arguments and tension between the two of you and there is a need now for them to explain themselves to clarify to talk about this situation they do want to do that this is this king of swords here is a focus on this ace of wands this is this person is thinking about communication and they want to do it now because ace of wands it's very very action orientated card it's just it's now it's fire it's it's action and we have an eight of pentacles they want to work on this situation but they need to there is a need for this person to clarified certain things they need to explain themselves why they created the energy of three of swords why they created the energy of of this card of the card number 15 and why you felt momentarily that you need to walk on eggshells around them with the six of wands next to the five of wands uh, this is someone who who is making progress who's making progress with regards to them realizing how much damage that might have caused, that again, consequences of their actions. This is someone who is aware of that, of those consequences. But also I'm seeing uh, that there will be a progress. This is someone who is realizing that at the end of the day, they seize you as their soulmate. And they want a victory in a sense having a victorious and happy relationship with you this is someone who is thinking only about you Aquarius they might be presenting completely different attitude to the outside world but if someone you know that's what it is if we have your energy in their feelings they are constantly thinking about you and they I, I also getting very strongly here that they might be thinking about a certain situation uh, if you parted your ways after the argument this argument was just left unresolved this is someone who is thinking about it and it is heavily playing on their mind they feel deeply inside in their heart that they need to talk about it they need to talk about this five of wands this conflict in order to kind of uh, balance things out and have this victory with the six of wands but at the end of the day this is someone who wants your attention and who is thinking only about you underlying energy is in it's represented by the hierophant they want something they want a commitment they want stability they want higher level of commitment with you aquarius so let's see how this person sees aquarius We have an Ace of uh, Pentacles. We have a Queen of Cups. So we had Queen, uh, King of Cups and now we have Queen of Cups. Yes, double confirmation of strong relationship connection that you might share with this person indeed. We have a Seven of Wands, Four of Cups. At the bottom of the deck we have a nine of cups aquarius this person is getting impression that you are doing very well and um, that um maybe they maybe you've accomplished something recently here or they've uh, find out that new opportunities arrived to your life with this ace of pentacles because this is a card of new opportunities uh, for stability for better stability it's like a new beginning that will bring so much um, security when it comes to finances or 3d world okay uh, queen of cups 
This person sees you as very loving, caring, nurturing individual, someone who has so much love to give. However, with the seven of wands and the four of cups, they are also perfectly aware that um, <laughs> it's like a conundrum here for them. I'm getting very strongly Aquarius because they do want to have this conversation, but uh, they are aware that at the moment with the seven of wands, you might be in this kind of energy of next to the four of cups energy of I don't want to deal with you you know because what you've put me through here seven of wands I feel this person at some point pushed you away and it might be a case that you block them or you're blocking any kind of interaction with them based on communication okay with the four of cups this person sees you Aquarius that you have an options in love and I know that options in love it's a seven of cups right but with when I when I look at this sequence of cards this is someone who knows that you're doing very well look how Zen uh, this 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 lady is here you know and that's your energy this is this is the perception they sees you as very balanced very grounded and also someone who has options in love and I feel this person feels quite insecure deeply inside because they are taken into consideration that you can uh, refuse their option if they approach you you know reject this cup of love because at the, it seems, Aquarius, that there are another three uh, people here who are very interested in you. It doesn't mean that you are interested in them, but uh, they might be interested in you. And this person is getting that sort of kind of impression. I don't know from where. For instance, it might be a case that if you are active on the social media, certain you know individuals are liking your photos, they're commenting on your posts. And this person you know, is getting an impression that they are very interested in you. With the Four of Cups, you see, I really tend to tempt to even make a conclusion because she's very zen, she's not accepting any of these cups, is that you are focusing on yourself at the end of the day. You know, even if people are around and even if you are looking so beautiful, handsome, and obviously with this energy, you have so much to offer. Um, you are focusing on yourself, making healthy choices, investing into yourself. For some of you, you might not even be interested that much in love at this moment because you have other things to do. But I see people uh, wanting your attention, let's say that way, and this person is aware of that. Nine of Cups um, at the bottom of the deck. This is, this is a card of dreams come true. This is someone who sees you doing very well without them and that's I feel quite start bothering this person you know you are in a very passive energy when it comes to this individual I don't feel you chase this person you are not in a mood with the nine of cups again this is this is a card of accomplishments a personal satisfaction with this ace of pentacles it might be a case indeed that this person is aware that uh, you are doing very well and as much as Nine of Pentacles, it's a very self-sufficient, very in the card of independence, I see you in this energy in, represented by the Nine of Cups. But added thing here, added factor to this Nine of Cups, it means, speaks that you are also kind of a content when it comes to your emotions and feelings. There is this element of personal satisfaction, you being very self-sufficient and independent, but also feeling good about it because the, the energy of cups speaks of feelings, emotions, right? So emotionally, you are content, you're okay. You're minding your own business here. And this is how this person sees you. This is their perception of you. Let's see Aquarius. Let's see the outcome for the immediate future. With regards to this connection, could you please show me? For the immediate future for five days six 
with regards to okay so we have this surprise represented by the tower we have a hierophant so we have taurus energy also we have scorpio aries and we have eight of cups we have a nine of wands at the bottom of the deck Aquarius what I'm getting here very strongly for some of you you will uh, if this person if they were in a relationship connection with you and there was an ending between the two of you and actually uh, you found out that they are now with or they've been with someone else you will came into knowledge Aquarius that uh, they walked away from their partner with the Hierophant and the Eight of Cups and it will be quite unexpected, unexpected quite shocking quite surprising I feel that you're going to find out that this person here ended certain connection they walked away they walked away that's why they and you might be feeling aha uh -huh, that's why they want to talk with me or to or they want to have a conversation with me mm -hmm. this is someone aquarius who is coming uh, and asking you if you can give them a chance they, they it seems that they do want to kind of uh, take responsibility for their actions because i have this and it cannot be denied i i have this devil energy indeed it, it 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 signifies that something toxic was attached to this person's attitude or you know this person has a tendency to be very controlling maybe even quite jealous my way highway attitude but um we have this temperance next to this, 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 this very kind of strong energy represented by the devil. And I'm getting very strongly that this person is recognizing that they made mistakes. They're recognizing that their behavior might have caused you uh, sadness. And ultimately it caused this free of swords energy, this heartbreak, this emotional pain. But I'm seeing that they want to heal this. They want to do the work. You can expect uh, this person to reach out indeed, and it will be quite unexpected. With the Nine of Wands, I'm seeing here, Aquarius, that mm, as an overall energy for this reading, it's like you have your reservations, and I, and, and I can see why, looking at those cards. You know, this person will have to really gain your trust. They really will have to earn your trust in order to have a chance or to be given a chance uh, to create some sort of stability with regards to this connection. But I'm getting very strongly for some of you that indeed you can expect when this person will reach out, they will say that uh, they've realized certain things, that they are working on their attitude or their unhealthy habits. For some of you, it might be a case. and. Uh, they walked away from certain things because it just wasn't for them. And I feel that when this person will come forward and tell you this, essentially that they broke up here with someone, then they walked away, uh, you will still have your reservation by, represented by the Nine of Wands. You know, you might be thinking, oh yeah, I don't know about that, you know. Because, you know, Aquarius, I see you doing very, very well. Uh, very well when it comes to... There is something about your energy and it speaks of you being independent, but not only independent with regards to your finances or your career, but also when it comes to this this kind of a, uh, being... An, this, this oh, How can I say it? This uh, being independent with regards to... Uh, thought you know and also and also being independent uh, with regards to your emotions it's like you don't have attachments here 
this person very much is thinking about you with this devil energy it might be a case that momentarily they are you know obsessing here over you that they are they are thinking about you to the point of exhaustion because this energy it's exhausting devil energy is very exhausting but this is not your energy you with this nine of cups you're manifesting your dreams your goals I feel that you are also there is something about you Aquarius that you are very close to achieve something very close to achieving something very close to yeah well you can correct my grammar if you want <laughs> in the readings below in the, in the comments below sorry um, section comments below that's right but it's just I feel that you are very close to with regards to yeah there is a goal and with this nine of cups something here will very soon make you very very happy but i'm seeing you very independent with regards to any any area of your life and also when it comes to your emotions you you it's like a freedom of intellectual expression if you know what i mean it's like you are not kind of a cornered here and you have to uh, kind of be flexible You know what I mean? You can just go, you can just say whatever you like, I feel, in a certain extent, of course. But it, there is this freedom of, of thought, freedom of expression, freedom when it comes to emotions. I don't see you being attached to anyone. And I feel that gives you happiness. Therefore, this person coming in and reaching out, well, they have to prove themselves and i feel that you're coming from this place with the nine of wands this person emotionally hurt you they betrayed your trust and this is very interesting take because uh, they are holding here ace of wands and we have eight of wands here and eight of wands represents communication but look at the expression right it's like it might be a case Aquarius that deeply inside you assuming that this person will communicate very soon but again when they approach you and they will because it's shown in this particular card that the message it's coming with the ace of wands as well they do want to communicate and they will reach out you also have this ace of wands here and what it's interesting about this exp expression of this card is that uh, this individual here it's not really showing this ace of wands it's like you are holding back but also it gives me more of the strength energy you know self-control being very diplomatic about something however when there is a need you will show this ace of wands this action this creativity this again this 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 individuality that it's represented by this ace of wands meaning i have my say i have my opinions and i am not afraid to express them if there is a need but again this is very interesting and i think quite crucial if there is a need i feel your approach here it's very careful very cautious but diplomatic and at the end of the day this person has to earn your trust if they want to be given another chance but expect them uh, to to kind of to yes them to reach out to you Aquarius and they will say something here about something that didn't work out with regards to their uh, relationship with someone else Aquarius, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Aquarius, have a fantastic and beautiful day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. Take care. Bye.